Uh, what inspired us to do van life was just not being able to get outside enough, even though you've got PTO, you've got vacation days, but we never really felt like we were able to do enough fun stuff and exploring. And we figured the best way you could do that was if you kind of make your own mobile cabin and you could get out there and everything is right at your doorstep. So you could roll up to a ski resort in the morning and pop open your door and hit the hills. We'd been thinking about van life for a while, but what finally pushed us over the edge was one day we went up to the resort to go snowboarding. On a weekend. Yep. And we got turned around after waiting in a line for two hours in the canyon. And we both turned to each other and said, are we doing this? We're doing this. And that night we went home and started putting all of our YouTube research to work and started looking for vans on Craigslist. Hi, I'm KJ. And I'm James. And this is our dog, Lucky, and we're traveling around the country in our self-converted Ford Transit. We named her Loaf, and she is the 148 extended wheelbase and the high roof. That allows us to fit everything we need to travel comfortably and not really give up too many modern conveniences. One of the things that we did not want to give up when we moved into a van was a bathroom. People can tell you that you don't need one, but you need one. And especially with COVID, when gyms being closed, definitely need it. So we have the Nature's Head composting toilet. We were lucky enough to get that half price. <laughs> and then we have a full shower. We just take out our cedar planks down here when we're ready to shower. And then we just have your regular shower head. Um, and then we have hot water as well. So you don't always have to take a freezing cold shower. Up here, we have our overhead storage. Um, in the Ford, it's a little bit smaller. The Mercedes has more room, but we decided to use a duffel bag. So if we travel, we have a bag to pack our stuff in, but right now it just holds our puffy jackets and our towels. We have our dog's leash, um, and then we have bear spray, towels, and our blender stored up here. Here is part of our kitchen area. We have our sink, and then we have a filtered water tap, just using a virus filter from Brita. And then this is our sink cover, which you can put back if you need more space. And then we have our drawers here for silverware, plates, Tupperware. Um, and then this, we didn't want to have any dead space. So my husband 3D printed a divider <laughs> and it just holds our knickknacks, pens, coupons, and things like that. For our backsplash, we went with a peel and stick on top of just plywood. Uh, it was pretty easy to put together. Just have to be really meticulous with your cuts. And then we have a fruit and veggie basket over here. It's nice to have it attached to the wall so you're not constantly taking your basket off the counter when you're driving or spilling it if you forget to do so when you move. Uh, and then up here is part of our pantry where we store our dry goods, canned food, and our coffee. And this is the other side of our kitchen where we have our Furion stove. So it is a stove oven combo, which is fantastic. We can make cookies, we can make pizza, we can reheat leftovers if you don't wanna do them um, on the stove top. And then we just have a regular 120 volt dorm fridge style. So it has a small freezer compartment and decent fridge storage for all of your other cold goods. It does take a lot of power, but it holds a lot of stuff. And then over here we have toiletries and dog food, weird mix. <laughs> and we have our fan, which I didn't think we would need. And the hotter it got, the more that became obvious that we would need a fan. And over here we have uh, just some Ikea spice racks with all the spices that we need. And again, more of that peel and stick tile. And up here we have more dry goods. This is stuff that we store in mason jars or bags. We used to buy a lot of stuff in bulk, but thanks to COVID, we can't do that much anymore. And then in here we have our switch that controls all of our main LED puck lights in the kitchen area in the bathroom. We have our 120 volt plug um, or 110, whatever you want to reference it. And then thanks to COVID, we have our hooks here for our masks. <laughs> One of our first features that you can see from the outside is our fold out table, which also doubles as our shoe nook. This was kind of a last minute decision, but we decided we had a bunch of dead space in our cabinet. So why not use it? And we use this for storing our shoes. <laughs> And then we'll put our um, iPad out here to do workouts in the morning. This is our dinette area or kind of seating area in general. We have accessible benches uh, where we keep our electrical components, which we'll show you later. 
and then I keep all of my art stuff here. And then we have a swivel table. Classically went with the lagoon mount, which is what a lot of people have. So you can push this off to the side and kind of make as much space as you need. And over here we have our water is under here. So we have a 30 gallon fresh water tank and then we store extra groceries on top of it. And then back here we have another cubby that we just shove extra toilet paper and paper towels in. Okay, so this is our electronics cabinet underneath our one bench. Underneath here we have all our batteries, which is three 100 amp hour batteries all wired up. Um, this is all our, the solar comes in. There's 400 watts of solar panels on the top that comes into the solar charger. Um, we also have an alternator charger that charges the same battery bank whenever we drive. And um, it's kind of our fuse panel and all the control panel for that. And I've tried my best to keep everything organized and it actually does a really great job. Um, we're usually pretty topped off and don't have any issues with power. This is the controller for our Wabasto gasoline heater. So it actually pulls gasoline from the gas tank, this being a gas model. So nice and simple, you turn it on and uh, you get some warm air and it keeps you nice and toasty. Um, we wanted that because we travel to colder, colder climates and snowboard quite often. Um, so it things, keeps things nice and warm in here. In the back we installed two C.R. Lawrence slider windows. We went with the narrower, narrower model and that way you can get a really good cross breeze across the back because you're combining that with the fan that we have up above um, and the sunroof. So you're just getting a really good wind flow around. And we went ahead and did window casings. And the windowsill is great because when you're in bed, it's a nice place to store your phone, water bottle, um, or your watch. Up here, we have both of our closets. Uh, each person gets one side. So this side is mine. We have a couple of totes and then more of your loose rolled clothing down here or things you're gonna wear again, because you will definitely wear things more than once. <laughs> and this is my husband's side that is also pretty well organized. We have a full-size mattress. It's much smaller than most people go for, but we've never had a bigger mattress, so it's fine with us. And we have this really cool bedding on here. It's called a Betty. So it's basically just like a bedding sleeping bag. So you never really have to make your bed. You just unzip it and zip it back up. Uh, and how it comes out is just kind of like a futon. So you pull it out and just it stays in place because you're not driving with it out. And when you're done, you just push it back up and you have access to your dining and a small area of your bed if you want to take a nap. Uh, we installed this Dometic Hecky Mini Skylight. We had to get it off eBay because they are really hard to find. And it opens and closes so you can have full airflow and you can shut it down if it is cold or you're driving that's super windy. It has a bug screen so you don't get mosquitoes or other gnats in here. And then if you don't want to look at the stars or the sun, just close the blinds. This is our garage storage space underneath the bed. Um, we use these closet door shoe cubbies to put a bunch of stuff to kind of keep things organized. We've got some extra water, camping gear, some tools, a uh, climbing crash pad, our electric longboards, which are great for in the van. You can park the van, you can ride the longboards around town, go get groceries or whatever. This is the, the water fill setup. We've got a filter here. This fills our 30 gallon tank that's inside. Um, this is a sealed box for our propane tank so that it doesn't vent inside the van. It's kind of a safety thing. And then this is also a shower hookup. So if we needed an outdoor shower or wanted to hose off our dog or the skateboards or anything like that, it's an easy hookup for us. One of the big things I learned about myself being in the van is just I have a bigger ability to adjust to different situations and a lot more than I thought. Really getting out of the comfort zone has really helped a lot. Just trying to process things as they happen, not really getting mad about the little things because they're all just going to be gone in no time. So obviously with COVID, uh, what the future holds for anyone is a little uncertain, but we would like to keep traveling probably for a year, maybe two, because we did have to spend a couple months quarantined at my parents' house when COVID first hit. And then kind of long term, we both really realized how much we love living small and not having an abundance of stuff. So I think we both would like to live in a little bit smaller home and then on a little bit more land so that we can have more time to hang out outside and hang out with our dog. If you like what you've seen here, you can follow us on Instagram at Stoke Loaf Van or on our website, SoakLoafVan.com. And on our website, you can find different tutorials, how to's, why we chose this, that, or the other thing, and different build guides, propane, water, electric, and just our layout itself. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Balls.
Huh? That's not Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Guides on our website at snowglobeband.com. Uh, <laughs> Don't go in the water. Lucky, Lucky. goat. <laughs>